Welcome to the invention of the Spring Alive, where we will introduce you to uh, Tangle Free Headphones. And how many of you all have had this problem? <laughs> all right. Well, let's get started and stop the tangling. I'm Cody Thomas, and I plan to go to BCTC, and I'm undecided on my major. I'm Craig Deacon. I plan on either going to UK or U of L, and I'm going to major in computer engineering. I'm Logan Bentley, and I plan on going to St. Catherine College, and I'm undecided on my major. All right, problem statement. Over 64% of people across the globe listen to headphones at least once a week, call, always occurring the problem of tangles. And we need to stop that. We need to find a solution to that problem. There were pre-existing solutions to this problem on the market. One type was a headphone cord that had a zipper on it. That way the uh, individual cords wouldn't get tangled. Another type was a little device that you would wrap around, you would wrap the headphones around. And those were the, really the main two that were on, were on the market. The test, oh, sorry. The testing the headphones really like, every day, every day today we couldn't really test it. So we, our really main procedure was Giving somebody who listens to headphones at least almost every day, try it out, like put it in their pocket, take it out, <coughs> put it in, make it like wear and tear. That way it cannot like we know that it can last or effectively. Okay, the products we used was a was heat shrink, uh, mechanics wire, crafting wire for the first or the second pair, I mean, sorry about that. And electrical tape and scotch tape for like our this trial to do right here. And then we used the auto desk and banner for our mentor pictures and a heat gun to shrink the heat shrink. These are the uh, inventor drawings that we had to draw. This is the headphone jack. Here's the earbud piece. And here's the uh, entire headphone assembled. And then if you click one more slide, there's the working drawings with all the dimensions. And yeah, well, you see a better picture in the binder in there because it's it's more close up and you can see all the dimensions. Our survey results, we we went around school because it's kind of hard to get survey results online. So we went around school mainly and uh, got students all around school to take it. We had about a hundred, was it? Yeah, it was hundred survey. Hundred survey results. And our first question was how often they listen to headphones, and about over half of our results, survey results show that they listen to it all the time. So that's kind of good for wear and tear so we can show. So they might use our headphones and then a lot of it was once or twice a week and very often, but about 10 to 16% didn't you hardly use them, but once or twice a week, if that. All right, and most of our uh, gender was male and then the other half female. Uh, all right, the age group, well, with high school age, it's always, mostly was under 18 and maybe a couple that just turned 18. Then we had a couple of parents and adults who took the survey. All right, and most of them were from Marion County, which were down there in the school, and that we had a few out of state, which were all survey monkey, and then surrounding counties, people had moved here, whatever. Uh, frustration, we want to get a good question that way, like we can tell if they think it's a really idea, a good idea, or it's not like a, a great idea, if they're just okay with it. And about, 20% were very, really frustrated. They got tired of it, and then another 20 was tired of it. So almost half the people took it were just, they do not like tangle, getting all the tangles out instead of taking the time to do this. And then 68% of them did not care if they were a little bit bulkier than what they are right now. Because that's what we put the heat shrink on it. Makes it probably a little bit bigger, but not enough to affect like the sound of the water. Oh, I didn't even know that. All right, uh, we asked if they would still buy them because they asked still buy them because, you know, if they're bulky, some people don't like change and, and whatnot. But most people said yes, they would, over 90 actually. Most of the people were willing to pay 5 to $14, but it was going to come to a cost higher than that. We uh, asked if people were interested because if people are not interested, then there's not a need for this product. And if there's no need, then it won't be able to sell. 
And but about over, over right around seventy percent were interested in this product, which is very good results. And eighty three people were would recommend this product to other people. Uh, trial one on the first trial we kind of used we just came up with ideas and tried them on one pair of headphones. First trial is in the binder right there. We used uh, springs from mechanical pencils just to try it and we stretched it out. That way we can see if it bends or not. And different size heat shrinks. Um, the different sizes like sometimes they would let's see like some were tighter than others and the, like one would slide up and down and another one would stay there and it was more flexible than that. And when, and the heat shrink we kind of like slid it on there and had the gun and we like yeah, heated up and shrunk down to it and it was starting. Um, and this we kind of right here like it pointed out what I was talking about here and there like like this one it goes up and down and the headphones the heat shrink is not as loose but then over here you can see where it's really tight and it's just it stays there in the same position throughout. All right, on trial two, this was the, the problem here. It was, it didn't work anyway, so we just cut it up like, it's got wires sticking up, so don't worry about it. But uh, on this pair, we used 316s heat shrink and mechanics wire. We also were, weren't able to put heat shrink all the way up to, to where the headphones split because it kept wanting to curl backwards whenever you were heat shrinking it. And then, also the problem was we tried taping it to get it to shrink down but it still wouldn't so we ended up on our next pair we used electrical tape to fix that problem. On prototype one what we ended up doing was we got the heat shrink on the main cord there uh, once we wrapped around once we wrapped the mechanical wire around and actually on that one we actually had bought another type of wire and we wanted to compare the two different wires in, to see which one would be the best fit. Uh, you can actually tell on the, where the two wires meet at the green tape. One is a mechanical wire, which is what, we've been, what we use throughout the process. And then in, another is crafting wire, which was a lot thicker and a lot uh, tougher to bend. Um, a problem that occurred on this one though was where the headphones split off, it, uh, it was really weak. So we had to come up with a solution to figure out how to fix that. On prototype two, we actually, this pair of headphones actually had a, uh, a L headphone jack. So we couldn't get the heat shrink on the cord. So what we ended up doing with this one was we wrapped it completely in electrical tape. To fix the uh, part where the headphones split, we continued one piece of mechanical wire all the way to one of the earbuds. And then we took another piece and connected it to finish off the other side. Um, go ahead. And then on that pair, like where you put your earbuds in, and when the wire wanted to poke you in the <laughs> ear a little bit, so it was a safety hazard. So we had to end up backing it off on this final pair a little bit. Uh, and on, this, fixed, yeah. Yeah, on the final pair, we uh, did the same as first, but instead, as we did on this last part, we brought the wire all the way up, but we left it a little short. That way it won't be poking out, and it's more flexible right here instead of being like stiff. It, you got more room like where it can move around. All right, the cost is going to be about $4 for the material put on the headphones, and it's going to be arranging about $18 for a normal like Walmart pair of headphones. And about 50% of people show they're willing to pay for anywhere from $5 to $14, which ain't about $4 more than what they would want to pay. There's our work. I would like to thank Walmart for, the, for them donating three sets of headphones for us to do our prototype and trial in Arizona and Norby's and Sister Kentucky Plumbing for having uh, electrical tape and uh, crafting wire that we can use.
And the reason why we chose this topic was because one day we were, we had 10 days to come up with our idea and Logan had, was using his headphones or something, he pulled them out of his pocket, they were so tangled. So we were like, there we go. You know, we had searched it and didn't find nothing, so there's how it came about. Thank you all for coming out this morning. Is, is there any questions? Oh yeah. So is anyone actually trying to find a product out? Uh, uh, there's been a few people we've said in the past, <coughs> so. How, how did they, like how did, I guess you can't really wrap these up and put them in your pocket? Oh yeah, yes. They yeah, just pretty much wrap up like a regular headphone. Then when you pull them back apart, they shouldn't be tangled. You can just. It goes right in and you can just pull it out and just. Pull it apart. Pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a prototype. You're considering using Teflon? Never thought about that. I got one people look up also. It's a material called Mighty Ball. It stands for Nickel Titanium Naval Ordnance Laboratory. It's what they refer to as memory metal. All right, Nick and Tom. Mighty Ball. Oh, Mighty Ball. Okay. It's uh, almost a spring steel, but it'll bring back to its original. All right. Might be something if you uh, have to present this any further, at least show just uh, more research. Yeah. All right, thank you. thank you. And I think one of your markets for this would be parents yeah. for small children. I know you spent a lot of time with the high school dealing with high school kids, but as a parent of a six year old, I spend lots of time attending <laughs> headphones, and then they lose the headphones. So this would be harder for them to lose, and then yeah. it would save me time of taking headphones for small children. Good point. Thank you. Same <laughs> problem. Any other questions for this group? All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.